Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. It's Thursday, so you know what that means. It's time for me to read you the patch notes, just like I do every single Thursday. I feel like Pearl Abyss watches my videos, right? And they're just like, yo, how can we make Levi look stupid? Well, last week he put out a video saying how every Thursday he puts out his patch notes videos. Let's make our patch one day early and put it on a Tuesday. So hey guys, it's me, Evil Duo Sarm, the lion sack of poop over here that uh, does not put out a patch notes video every single Thursday. Instead, today's video is going to be on a Wednesday. We'll take a look at all the information that came out with the most recent patch to Black Desert on May 4th of 2021. Couple new events, couple little system changes, nothing too crazy in this one. If you want to skip the rest of this video, you can. You probably aren't going to miss anything. But if you do want to stick around, let's get into it. So first things first, we have a login event going on right now in Black Desert. If you press the escape key on the keyboard, navigate to the reward tab, attendance reward. Starting on May 6th, we will have new attendance rewards available, so you can still finish off the last little bit of this one, because it doesn't start until May 6th, but starting on May 6th is the new attendance rewards. Nothing too crazy with this one, typical stuff that we're used to seeing from these different rewards. The next event is a guild mission event here, so every time your guild does guild missions and the officer goes ahead to receive the rewards from the guild mission, so these menu right here in your guild menu, depending on the size of the guild mission, there will be an additional reward that is deposited into that person who did the quest inventory. They can sell that for guild funds for the guild. So completing a small guild is basically a bonus 6 million, medium is 9 million, large is 11 million, and extra large is 14 and a half million silver bonus for completing that guild. So if you're already doing guild missions, you're going to see some silver in your inventory. Sell it to get money for your guild. The next event and final event is a new daily quest series that you can accept by opening up your challenges menu. In there, you will find a letter with someone's request. If you then take that letter to the general goods vendor, Laura, located at the bottom of Heidel, so the general goods vendor right here, talk to her, click on the quest option. You will see a new quest event. Listen to Laura's request if you accept that quest line. You will get a random one of the quests that are a part of the series of quests that you can do. Completion of this quest line is going to give you an event currency. So these are all the different quests you can get, either 10 pickled vegetables, 10 pure pottery reagents, making some flour, making some dough, chopping some trees, making some river water, or making some Olivia gold. All of those quests could spawn here, which will give you the seal of good deeds. Quest line series here is running for two weeks. You have until May 18th for this quest line. So you can get a total of 13 or 14 of these. I can't do math off the top of my head here. So these event currencies from completing these quests can be exchanged for the following items that you see on your screen right here. I'm not going to read them to you. Basically, it's memory fragments, a crystal, mass spear magic, and some advice and valves. Although I guess that means I read it to you. And that's it by way of events. Now moving on into the actual content that came with this patch. First one is that we have super boss mode Thunderworm. So the ancient Kudum boss, which spawns out in the desert region, or I guess kind of right on the cusp of the desert region out here, up along this little scarlet sand chamber region has been enhanced to sort of like that bloodstorm system that we've seen with like bloodstorm Nivere or nightmare zarka or those more difficult bosses they say that this one's the hardest one yet it requires teamwork and all of that crap and blah 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 i live on the east coast so i'm not going to be making a guide for this one anytime soon but hopefully this weekend when it spawns at a more reasonable time i'll be able to uh, make some guides on this one so that you know what's going on until then, though, you kind of have to read these notes and figure out what's going on, or I'm sure somebody else will have a video guide on it long before I'm able to make one. Completion of this one has the rare drop of Kudum's Power Stone. This creates a lightning chain effect around you when you activate it that reduces the defense points of monsters by 10 during that period, and it increases your resistance by 2%. Next up are the changes to characters, and for the most part, these are just some quality of life changes up until we get to the Sage. The Sage has his core skills released, so if you're playing the Sage, you can now get some added effects to your different skills in your kit. So... Take a look through your core skill options and choose what suits you best. Additionally, there is a 10, 25, 50% Black Spirit Rage meter skills added for him. So a couple of your abilities have the ability to use some of your Black Spirit's Rage meter, this meter right here, to enhance their effects. And finally, the Elvia skill has been added for the Sage as well. Quality of life improvement in the item tab here. You can now exchange for Naru gear before the Calpheon quest line is completed. All you have to do is play through the Serendia line. Really helpful for newer players that might have thrown away the gear while they were playing through, not knowing what it was. There's a new NPC in the game, Dalishan, right here. If you go ahead and talk to this person, you can pick up a little bit of knowledge. So go ahead and check them out. Um, the one in Heidel is located right here, but apparently this NPC is in multiple cities. Haven't done any exploring yet to find them. The alchemy quests that you get while doing alchemy get turned into this new NPC. And that's pretty much all that's going on with that one. And as you can tell, I'm really stretching to find things to talk about in this patch. So I'll just get to the last cool one. And that is that you can change the name of your workers now. 
So any worker that you have in your little setup here, if you click on this give nickname option, you can name it whatever you want. And you just hit confirm and it names it, which is pretty, pretty useful, especially for people that have crate empires or have certain workers that go to certain spots. In case you ever get your network screwed up or something like that, you can change the nickname of your worker so you know exactly where this worker is supposed to be assigned. It's actually really, really cool. I mean, for me, who has tons of workshops running all over the place, sometimes I get them crossed and screwed up, so all I got to do is pick, like, Merchant Lane 1-1, name it the worker, and I know this is the guy that works in this workshop. So if you do use the worker node system in this game, make sure to take advantage of this new naming system. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for interesting stuff. Nothing else too crazy with this patch. I do also want to point out, and somebody told me to point it out in the comment section, that the quest that's available at the Delph Knight's Castle has been reset or should be reset here by the time this video goes live. So you can complete this for the second week right here. This is a weekly quest for some free crap. Got to bring three meals up to the castle. But that doesn't really count as part of this patch as part of the last one. Anyway, if this video is going to help you here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you're new to the channel and still haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel, pushing for 100k this year, and would also greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you the next live stream over on Twitch, next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.